everyone and welcome to episode two of my weekly vlogs. I first of all want to say thank you to everyone who has checked out episode one so far. What to expect when in a relationship and when dating. I appreciate all the love, all the support, all the kind words. I'm humbled and just thank you. So we're going to get into episode two, which is about friendship. We've all experienced the highs, the lows, the ups, the downs. Be the highs and the lows and the ups and the downs are the same thing. But you guys get what I'm saying. We've experienced the, the happy moments, the memorable moments, moments when we've cried and broken down because of a friendship. We've experienced it all, so I think this is a good topic for episode two for us to get into. What is my definition of friendship? My definition of friendship is being able to be your 100% self around the person. Knowing that regardless of what you guys go through, you can always count on that person. Loving each other genuinely, supporting each other, understanding each other, not being judgmental. I also went on Facebook, as I do every week, and I asked my viewers what they define friendship as. And I got some pretty good answers, so we're gonna go through that right now. Mac Apples, aka Ebony, she said to her, friendship is loyalty, trust, praise, acceptance, empowerment, encouragement. A friendship should have all these things. If I have to sleep on you with one eye open, that's not a friend. Maybe just someone I'm cool with. Shantae, we went to high school together. She said, a friendship is a bond that only true friends share. A friendship is being able to tell your friend they are wrong even when it hurts. But a true friend would know that it's all love. A true friend is someone you can call and talk to when you have the weight of the world on your shoulders. Don't get me wrong, there are people that label themselves as your friend, but only seem to be happy when you're down. I I've experienced those type of people people that I thought were friends and then I noticed, wow, when I'm going through something and I'm, I'm, I'm sad or I'm bro I have a broken heart, the person seems like they're happy and psh, that's when I had to cut a few ties with these people. And that was something I also asked about cutting ties and trust and Shantae addressed cutting ties saying, it's time to cut ties when your friendship has been taken advantage of based on a misunderstanding. Friendship without trust is nothing but a game. Darlene, her definition is, friendship is really your value for that person you call a friend. Not because you've known them forever, that's your best buddy. But what makes you say to yourself, I care for this person. I care for this person and I won't do anything to jeopardize our friendship. To her, when you cut ties with someone, that means you were never truly friends to begin with. Friends who value each other go through anything. I like that. We have Akira. She said that I once posted, I guess on one of my Facebook statuses, that my father said, friend is like money in his pocket. And she's beginning to agree. She said she's been blessed to have so many wonderful friends who have been loyal, honest, and loving, but she would never put her entire trust in anything. One more, Jennifer. Jennifer and I met in high school. We, we became friends very fast through our high school, through our college. In the past, I guess, two or three years, we've had some roller coaster rides and it was more down than, you know, up. But, you know, we're working on things. Her definition is life is knowledge to be learned and, experience to, and experiences to live through. One of our major learning experiences are separating who are our acquaintances are from who our friends are. Friendship is the equivalent to a relationship without the sexual acts. Someone who represents commitment, loyalty, honesty is her definition of a friend. Cutting ties are never hard when you don't have these attributes to give. Friends come and go, Jesus will always be your number one friend. Now, I love all their definitions. I wanted to touch on the trust issues and the cutting ties with a personal story of mine. Uh, you know, from high school, I I became, I guess you could say I, I got into a circle. It was a group of girls. We didn't have drama back in high school. I feel like the drama more happened 
about two or three years ago, that's when things started to just sizzle. Um, last year, just I cut ties. I was like, all right, I can't deal with this. There's so much going back and forth going on. You know, I'm not gonna get caught up in it anymore. I'm at a certain point in my life where I don't need that, you know? Who needs it when you're in your 20s? Dedicating yourself to your career and getting your yourself to dress. One of the girls last summer, she she hit me up, she texted me, you know, she wanted to have lunch, to squash whatever issues we had. I was very hesitant. When I say I was very hesitant, I even asked my mom for advice and I asked a childhood friend for advice. Like, I was hesitant. Then I said, all right, I'll, I'll give her a chance. Let, let's see what she's about. We go to lunch, everything seems cool. We seem to be on, on a good, in a good, you know, situation. Months later, all the girls um, were reunited because of an unfortunate situation. Fine. We spoke amongst each other, okay, let's put the past in the past. I was even hitting up one of them. Let's let's try to do lunch, let's sit down, let's try to work things out. You know, let's squash everything. I guess that didn't sit well with the girl that hit me up for the lunch. We're gonna call her Jezebel. It didn't sit well with Jezebel, I guess, because Three weeks or four weeks before Christmas, Jezebel texted me and she's like, you know, I want to have a sleepover with all the girls. I think it'll be nice, blase, blase. My response was, I'm not cool with the girls like that. And I think anybody with a right mind would say the same thing. I'm not cool with the girls like that, so I'm not going to come for a sleepover. But I'm willing to come over for dinner. We can chat, drink wine, whatever. But a sleepover, I think that's just a bit too close for comfort, especially since we had just reunited. Jezebel decided she was going to go tell the girls a different version of her story. One of the girls decided to unfriend me on Facebook. Another one just started acting weird. Only one of them just continued speaking to me like regular. But I felt like, I'm like, okay, one person has removed me, the other one is acting weird. What's going on? Like, I'm really confused. So one of them told me what Jezebel said and I was very shocked that I, I, I was confused because I'm like okay were we did we have the same conversation like were you texting me like are you delusional is she feeling a certain way that maybe me and the girls might be cool again and she might feel insecure about the situation maybe she'll be back on the back burner like she was for many years I don't know but it was very weird to me so when it came to cutting ties I didn't come out and say, girl, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I asked her, like, why did you say this and that? She never responded. When you don't respond to me, that means, all right, she claims she didn't want to start drama, but to me, it's, you can't explain your lie. So I just cut ties. That's Christian barking. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I simply cut ties without verbally speaking it. It is what it is at the end of the day. I, I don't have a heavy heart because I didn't lie. So it is what it is. So when it comes to cutting ties, certain situations you just have to be alone. You just have to say, that's it. I'm done. I'm not going to deal with the lies, the jealousy, the, the envy. You know? And when it comes to trust, it's hard to be able to have a friendship without trust. Imagine not trusting someone you're telling your deepest, darkest secret to, like, I want to be able to call up one of my girls and say, I'm going through this, blah, 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 and know it would never come back to me. I want to be able to trust that if we get into an argument, yeah, high school, maybe in your early 20s, mid-20s, you go through something like, oh, well, that B-I-T-C-H, and I'm not going to deal with her, and she did this anyway, and remember when she... But at a certain point, you're just like, listen... If we're not gonna be friends, we just part ways. There's no reason for you to go behind my back and say certain things or to bring up topics that I, or subjects that I've spoken to you about in private, you know? I think at a certain point, you don't wanna deal with that. You shouldn't have to deal with that. And that's what it is. I'm gonna leave you with a quote, a friendship quote, as every week I will be leaving with different quotes depending on the, on the subject. And this week, my quote is, a friend knows your past, believes in your future, and accepts you for who you are. See you guys next week. Girls, we run this mother.